Hello and welcome to week three's recap of the Hoop Scene Invitational League. I'm joined with League Commissioner again, Eric Gellatin, and Mr. Hoop Scene himself, Robert Alfonso Jr. Glad to be with you guys again on week three. Glad to be back. Let's jump right into the action. So, um, some good, great games today. Uh, let's start with the seventh grade. Um, it was an early game. Uh, Georgia Hawks beat the uh, Atlanta Celtics 38-32. Um, looked like the Celtics were going to win. They had opened up an early lead, and the Hawks were pretty relentless. So I thought it was a terrific game in the seventh grade division. What did you guys think? Well, I thought, you know, with Byron Wilson, you know, finishing with 13, they're, they're pretty active the way that Georgia Hawks squad operates. And they're really, they are relentless, and they, and they have a no-quit attitude. And he was also helped by Damon Stoudemire, who finished with nine points. You know, Byron Wilson had his 13 but be able to get a contribution from Damon is good. Yeah, and Chavez Hunter from the Celtics um, went for 18, you know, and that was that was just a game the Celtics just ran out of gas. They played with five, um, and the pressure of the Hawks just just eventually wore them down. Right, right. Um, third and fourth grade division had some great games today. Um, one of them was the uh, Playmakers, uh, Atlanta Playmakers versus Georgia Heat. Now, they, the game ended up being 34-23, so it didn't look as, appear as close. But the Heat made a great run towards the end of the game, uh, got close, and then they, they also ran out of gas, so to speak, and the Playmakers ended up uh, pulling away there at the end and winning 34-23. Well, and Jason Edwards, you know, he, he contributed to that run with his nine points right. and being able to push the tempo for for the playmakers. Yeah, Chatham Jackson for the Heat um, had, a, had a great game for them. Um, I think he led all scorers in the game with ten points um, and just, you know, they just couldn't, couldn't hang on at the end. But like you said, it was a close game throughout. I think the game of the day may have been the, the, the other third and fourth grade uh, game, which was the, the Hawks. Uh, who, who barely, uh, EOTO had a, a chance to beat the Georgia Hawks at the end, had a shot, mm -hmm. a three-pointer to, to win it, uh, but the Hawks ended up winning 45-43. Let's talk about that game and some of the players you guys saw. Well, EOTO did have ample opportunities to win the game throughout the stretch, but I think the, the game winner came down to Brandon Stoudemire grabbing a loose ball rebound and being able to put it up with about 15 seconds to go. And, and that helped solidify you know, enforce EOT to have to shoot it late at the end. George Pritchett finished with a team high 11 points, and Bryce Wilson added his eight with Malachi Chip contributing, chipping in, no pun intended, <laughs> with, with his, you know, nine points. But overall, the Hawks had to hold on throughout, the, you know, in the end to be able to get the victory. Yeah, it came down to the last shot, you know, EOTO just wasn't able to make it, but uh, Surreal Slayer for, for EOTO. Tremendous game, 18 points, um, but but just it wasn't enough at the end of the day to, to beat the Hawks. And of note, uh, Coach Byron Wilson had, was 2-0 today. <laughs> yes. His older son, which we talked about, and his younger son, Bryce, in the 34th grade division. Great so conversations the, the Wil at the household. <laughs> the, the Wilsons and the Stoudemires were pretty busy today. Yes, so. they were. <laughs> Um, at, let's move to the sixth grade. Uh, There's a, a great game there as well, Georgia Hawks versus the Atlanta Celtics. And um, this was the game where we selected our hoop scene player of the week, um, Andrew Delaire. Um, and you, you saw him play a little bit, Eric. I thought he was he was really great all around. Yeah, Andrew was a did a phenomenal job today. Um, you know, he only had ten points. You know, so when you look at the stat sheet, look at the points. Didn't score a whole lot, but that didn't tell you the story of the game. Um, you know, he's a big guard that's that's long, that's athletic, and he's really a playmaker. Mm -hmm. He's looking to get everybody else open, and he picks and chooses when he, when he scores. So, you know, he really runs the show um, for that team, and uh, it, he was on display today doing that. Yeah, he's one of those kids that really makes his teammates better mm -hmm. uh, defensively, offensively, getting getting people just great looks. Uh, the Atlanta Celtics uh, were very athletic, long, uh, some really terrific players. Enjoyed that game a lot. Thought it was very competitive, up and down. Uh, that was just a fun game to watch. Uh, the other game in the sixth grade division that was was very very uh, well contested was the Atlanta Playmakers versus the Georgia Hawks. Now the Atlanta Playmakers ended up kind of pulling away there at the end and winning 53 uh, to 47. Um, but Miles Davis uh, for for the Playmakers was a lot of fun to watch. And um, I don't know what you thought about that game? Well, he you know he's a crafty little guard and you know he'll find a way to 
push, push, push the tempo. He's kind of, kind of like a race car, you know, and they'll just keep going. But, you know, he finished with 12 points, and Hooli and Cole, you know, added 11, and, and their pressure together is what caused problems for the Hawks, you know, in, in that situation, in that game. Yeah, and for, uh, for the Hawks, Troy Cobb. It's funny, I was actually at the Decula game the other night, um, and Troy's older brother plays for Decula, and I was sitting with his, with with Coach Cobb and, and Troy, and, and I was, I was giving Troy a hard time, you know, asking him if he was as good as his brother, and he, he assured me he was. And then today he came out and uh, and and showed he he, he was, you know. Right. I mean, he, he led the Hawks in scoring with 15 um, and, and played a great game. And then Parker Keller um, had 10 for the Hawks, and and. You know, it was a good game, but the playmakers came out on top. Right. Well, Eric, Alfonso, that wraps our uh, third week show. Thank you very much for being with us. And um, be sure to follow us online at hoopscene.com, as well as on Twitter, at hoopscene, as well as at SSA Sports. Uh, Goodbye, and we look forward to seeing you next week.